Sentiments exactly. But five of us are going to fight even more about what to watch on TV, what to eat, and there'll be less to eat because there's more of us. Bronson, it's a statistical fact that married men live longer. Yeah? Yep. And if Faye gets a bun in the oven, it would be a new lease of life for your dad. Is he hungry or something? No. If she has a baby, you know. If someone drops a tadpole in her beer, your dad probably live forever. Really? Absolutely. Faye's going to be very good for your father's health. Calm him right down. Absolutely. Now. Right. We've got Bronson, Linda, Pete, Nell, food, wine, statue, stepladder. <laughs> Where's Pete? Pete? Good to see him calming down. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably off somewhere guest bagging with his mates. Quest! Jeannie Dryad. I'm the spirit of this tree. Wow. That poor tree hasn't got a spirit. I'm scared it's going to die. 
Oh, well, we'd better save it then. We could save a whole forest if you'd like. Would you like to be my boyfriend? What? Are you kidding? I mean, are you sure? I mean, is it okay for a boy to fall in love with a, a, tr a tree? I mean, a, a dryad? I'm, I'm, I mean, a, a tree spirit? Of course it's all right. I'm sure Pete's just as thrilled as the rest of us. And we're all going to spend many happy years together here in the lighthouse. Great news, Tone. It's very exciting. I found a buyer for the lighthouse. The, the lighthouse, lighthouse is, is not, not for, for sale. sale. Just checking. As I was saying, uh, I created this sculpture especially to commemorate Faye moving in with us. We're all very excited, Faye, and, well, this sculpture is for you. Thanks, Tony. Uh, Silly and I love a, love a bit of decor. It's called... <coughs> it's called... Love Never Sleeps. <laughs> Tony. Thanks. Are you going to uh, rust proof it, Tony? Bit of paint and brighten it up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> boy that comes to me from across the sea with some sort of book of love. I think you need to get out a bit more. Oh, five. Tony, listen. Five people. A tiny, cramped little lighthouse. It's terribly crowded. Just think, with the money you'd get from selling the lighthouse, you could have your own neoclassical Brick for near four bedroom home. Doesn't that make the blood pump? No. Now, Bronson, I don't mean to intrude, but how do you really feel about Faye moving in? I think it's great. It's a statistical fact that married men live longer. I've got it all worked out. That's why I'm gonna get Faye pregnant. How would you do that? All the normal ways. I'm so sorry I'm late, but I just met the girl of my dreams! So, uh, who is this girl? Oh, she's so beautiful. Uh, no, I'm... Um, well, you see, she's a dry... Uh, <laughs> well, you, you know, well, a, a dry... Uh, a dry cleaner? Well, it's kind of hard to explain, cos she's not exactly all there. <laughs> there's, there's, oh! there's, there's a frog in my wine. <gasps> Well, they say if you put a tadpole in someone's beer, it'll make them go pregnant. So I went the whole hog and put in a frog. Don't worry, Faye. Everything's fine. We'll just have to make a few adjustments. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love with a tree. I'm in love, I'm in love with a tree. I love a smile. I love her face. I love everything. I'm in love. I'm in love. You sound very happy. <sighs> <sighs> I couldn't stop thinking about you. I just had to see you. I can't stop thinking about you either. I'm so happy to hear that. Now that we're having a baby, I want to be with you forever. I want to be with you forever. What did you say? I want to be with you forever. What else did you just say? Now that we're having a baby. What? 
We haven't even touched. It doesn't make sense. How can you be... It's different for dryads. Once a man wheeze on the tree and you hold hands and kiss, you can't avoid it. Really? All I ask is that you let me be there at the birth. <laughs> if you're having a baby, of course you're going to be there. Don't be silly. Dryads can't have babies. That's why you're having it. What? In two days, you're going to be a mother. <sighs> Exciting, isn't it? Are you okay, Bron? You pregnant, yes, babe? Oh, morning. Oh, morning. You okay, Pete? Oh, no! Bronson! Oh. <laughs> I was just putting some buns in the oven so you could have a baby. I just didn't know how long to bake them for. <laughs> bake. Oh, I know. <laughs> just a few adjustments. <coughs> Please, will you stay here? I'll handle it, OK? OK. Thank you. Morning, Pete. Morning. 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 What's Morning. 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 Wow, she's really smart and intelligent and beautiful and, and, and well, we just met and, and one thing led to another and, and, and you know what happens? No. No? I think he's trying to tell us he got her pregnant. Who, Faye? What? No, of course I didn't get her pregnant. Phew. She made me pregnant. Faye got you pregnant? What are you talking about? No, I'm pregnant to Jeannie. I'm having her baby. Have you been eating Faye's buns? <laughs> Pete, I just want you to know that... Whatever happens, I'm here for you. But, Dad, he's not biologically equipped to have babies. Just tell them it comes out through your mouth. Through my mouth? What? I can't have a baby through my mouth. I think we need to have a little chat. You seem a bit confused. Are you sure you're pregnant? Yes. I think we need to have a big chat. Do you reckon I'll still make it onto the footy team? Well... well I feel good about this. Childbirth is very natural. There's no need to be ashamed. <laughs> it's not natural for a schoolboy to be pregnant. Look, I don't want anybody finding out that I'm up the duff. If Grimm's found out, he'd razz me stupid. Well, we won't tell him. We won't tell anybody, OK? Hey, Twist, I want to talk to you. It's about the mud. And the trees. Yeah. Don't hurt me, I'm pregnant! <laughs> now, your bodies are going through a... Uh, <clears throat> period of transition known as puberty. You know this girl you see, the one that you can't see? Is she, like, desperate or something? Is she calling desperate? Oh, please, she's just jealous. Why do you think I'm jealous? Tell her to butt out. I know what to say. What's going on down here? Twist going through a period of transition. He's expecting, sir. What? He's, uh, with child, sir. <laughs> In the family way, sir. <laughs> Look, Twist. Whatever trouble you're having coming to terms with puberty, I suggest you uh, share them with the uh, school psychiatrist. Is there a school midwife? <laughs> Be seated. So have you had any food cravings? No, not really. Uh, do you want the chocolate sauce on top of the tripe or next to the tripe? On top. Oh, yuck. Honey, twist. So the baby will be coming out of your mouth. Hello. Yeah, it'll be a tight fit. Media rights and a sponsorship deal? So you're going to do any birthing classes? No, nah, he'll be doing burping classes. How oh, funny. Don't worry, darling. They're just jealous. I'll look after you. Thank you. That's really nice of you. My pleasure. I cannot stomach tripe. I don't think so, Harold. Bye. Mm. Mr Gribble wants to turn the pregnancy into some sort of media circus. People just don't understand what it's like. I'm, I'm not just some pregnant thing. I'm a person too, you know. Yeah, 
chocolate. Mm. Mm. What I'm thinking is, we should paint the whole lighthouse before the birth. I don't think you'll have time for that. You all right? People don't realise what I'm going through. People still die during childbirth, you know? Come on, Pete. Less than 1% of women die through childbirth. Yeah, and what percentage of boys die in childbirth? We don't know what caused it. Could it be the sea air? Could it be the conviviality of our community? Maybe it's local government. Either way... Oh, I think I hear Pete coming now. Pete! How's it felt oh, to my mother? What are your inner feelings about motherhood, Pete? Me, I've, got a, I've got a sore back. I'm nauseous. Which has run out of tribe. The chocolate sauce is giving me pimples. I'm really worried about world poverty. But, but apart from that, I'm fine. I wonder what your friends think about all this, Pete. <laughs> we'll have to leave it there. Sorry, but I'm afraid Pete's running late for oh, school. Oh, my question. Oh. Like, you're only 13 and you're going through things a grown woman normally feels. How does that affect you, Pete? Excuse me. What? Wait up! Hang on! You're the one who's having the baby. I understand that. But I am the father. And I'm trying to be supportive. But everyone just ignores me as though I don't exist. You just look straight through me. Look! I've got a life living inside of me. That's all I can think about right now. I can't deal with your problems, okay? <laughs> I don't know what your game is, Twist, but you better have a good explanation. I think it's called prenatal stress, sir. And that's why we say Port Miranda is a place fertile with opportunities. In fact, it is the fertility centre of the shipwreck coast. Ah! Oh, Pete, now don't be shy. <laughs> you are the mother of the moment. And who's the father, Pete? Well, she's... The father's a she. Uh, don't, don't, don't worry about the father. That's not important. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, look, don't worry. It's just a little bit of morning sickness in the, uh, in the afternoon. The contractions have started. We'd better take you to sick bay. Hey, Twistoid! <laughs> Just because you're pregnant, Twist, doesn't mean you can avoid the knuckle burger. Yeah! <laughs> we don't have time for this. He's going to have a baby any minute now. Can't you see he's a contractor? Oh, please, can you help me? OK, we'll give you a hand, but then we'll beat you up. <laughs> Thanks, Groups. I really appreciate <laughs> Uh, Bron, go to the big tree in the forest and get Jenny for me. Uh, is she the one who's not all there? Yes. Is there enough of her that are going to see her? Just get her for me. Uh, Can I borrow your bike? Yeah, go, go, uh, go. Uh, uh, go. Uh, in fact, if a guy was going to get pregnant, you couldn't think of a better place than, uh, than Port Noranda. Why, we've got everything. We've, we've even got plans for a coin-operated laundromat. Open your mouth. I'm not sure if it's fully dilated or not. I saw this movie where there was a birth scene. What was the movie? I think it was Alien. Oh, what if I joke? You sure it's not a furball? Jeannie? 
No, of course not. Look, I don't know who this genie is, but you tell this genie for me that if Pete bursts or explodes or anything, it's going to be very bad PR for Port Miranda. Do you hear what I'm saying? You'd think she'd want to help out. Pete really loves her. for the experience, but I just don't think I'm ready to be a real mum yet. I know what you mean. I don't know how to tell you this, Faye, but I can't get you pregnant. You're going to have to do it by yourself. And, Dad, you're going to have to keep yourself alive for as long as you can. I'll do my best, mate. I know. Just a few adjustments. Exactly. Gee, what you have to go through to have a baby? Never ever going to do any of that stuff. Roger, no, 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 no,